Thank you guys for having me. Um, don't worry, I won't be doing anything nearly as complicated as the last two speakers, so it will be a quick five minutes. Um, so yeah, my name is Taylor Brownlow. I'm head of data science at a company called Count. Um, at Count, we are making a data analytics platform um, designed for open data. So what that means is we work with companies like Spotify and Stack Overflow to make their data really engaging and exciting, um, allow their users to do more with their data, um, especially non-technical users, so people who don't know how to use Python or SQL um, can use our tool to find really interesting things and share it. Um, in addition to working with different companies, we also do our own kind of um, Kind of special data topics. So for example, right now we're working on one with movies. So we're trying to create um, the ultimate movies data set essentially. So anytime you wanted to go uh, have a conversation about movie data um, or do some kind of in-depth data analytics, instead of going to 12 different sources all around the internet, um, you could just come to us. So that's basically what I'm going to be talking about is how we've tried to solve this problem um, and hopefully maybe ask you guys to help if you are interested. So, um, yeah, like I said, in this world of movies, and as you can imagine in most topics, uh, the data that's available to you it comes from many, many different places, and to put them all together it can be quite a difficult challenge, or else people would have done it. Um, the one that I'm going to talk about in particular is how we took um, Oscar's data from Wikipedia and merged it with um, data from the movie database. Um, the movie database is basically an open platform that um, allows users to go and vote on different movies, um, add, add different data for different movies, uh, and everyone knows Wikipedia. Uh, so basically, if we wanted to use these two together in any kind of relational format, we would need to assign every row in the Wikipedia data set a movie ID from the movie database. Uh, the problems here are a few. Uh, so mainly, you need to do this looking at movie titles especially. Um, so you've got different things. So obviously, um, I'm American, so the movie is The Sorcerer's Stone, but you guys would call it The Philosopher's Stone, uh, which means those two movies don't match up in those data sets. And um, frankly, most um, programs wouldn't really see that those two words were that similar. Um, so what else is there? Well, there are 21 films called Cinderella, in case you didn't know, uh, which is amazing and uh, can be quite challenging. Uh, also specifically around the Oscars data set, uh, especially if you go back in like the 1930s, some movies were actually nominated for awards upwards of 20 years after they came out. I don't know why, but they were. Um, and also, well, those are the main ones, but it gets quite difficult in some real niche use cases. Uh, if we look at what I did, um, I'll preface this by saying there are probably many other ways to do this that may be more elegant, but this works, so uh, I was happy with it. Uh, basically what we want to do is we want to obviously pre-process these titles um, to get them to be kind of the raw form. Uh, then we're going to turn these titles into vectors so we can start to compare them. Um, I used cosine similarity to compare the resulting vectors uh, and then found for any input from the Wikipedia data set, what's the movie from the movie database that has the largest cosine similarity um, and took the, the top one. Uh, there's a few other kind of things I added to the code to, one, make it run a little bit faster, and two, increase the results. So obviously pre-filtering the movie database for things that should be matching, so movies that came out around the same time, um, basically does it, and movies that were kind of highly voted were a better chance of being matches to movies that have been nominated for Oscars, essentially. Um, this is really... Uh, embarrassing code, but that's how you do it. <laughs> uh, it was never meant to be looked at by 300 people, so, uh, <laughs> but there it is. Um, essentially, what we're asking for then now is we're trying to keep this momentum up, especially around this movie data set, um, and how do we build this thing out to be really the place that you go and look for movie data. Um, so one of the things, um, we are also not hiring, but we are asking for people like yourselves who kind of really love data and love getting into this, these kinds of messy problems. Um, if you were interested in trying to contribute to this big problem that we're trying to tackle, um, please do let me know. And um, yeah, it'd be really great to hear you guys' thoughts. And I will be around at the pub if you guys have questions or anything else. <laughs>